Hello, I'm Leah Flyter, KASB's Director of Governmental Relations. On Monday, January 10th, the Kansas Legislature will begin its 2022 session. KASB expects there to be a host of key issues affecting K-12 public schools in 2022. Here's a brief overview of some of those issues. If you find yourself wanting a deeper dive, check out this link. First on the list is the ever-present topic of school funding. This includes K-12 appropriations for special education funding, CAPERS contributions, capital outlay, and more. The legislature will also be looking at federal ESSER funding. KESB anticipates scrutiny over school districts' use of federal COVID dollars. We specifically expect legislators to raise concerns about the impact of the COVID pandemic on educational outcomes. On the topic of state funding, many legislators want to see positive results from the increased funding the legislature provided as a result of the Gannon court case. But as one might expect during a pandemic, test results fell due to prolonged learning disruptions in Kansas and across the country. Next, KASB expects the legislature to focus on issues surrounding curriculum, graduation, and student policies. Some of these key topics will include teaching about race, additional high school graduation requirements, and discussions about the participation of transgender athletes on girls' and women's sports teams. Other curricular issues include the availability of computer science courses and efforts to ensure third graders are reading on grade level. We also expect lawmakers to discuss post-secondary preparation and participation in post-secondary education opportunities. Another key issue in 2022 will be voucher-type private school aid. KESB opposes efforts to pu funnel public money to private schools which don't serve all Kansas students. It was one of the major legislative issues in 2021, and we expect it to be debated again in 2022. As you know, longstanding challenges with finding teachers and other members of the education workforce were exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. This may raise legislative questions about the use of federal and state funding for salaries and bonus payments. These are just a few of the issues that the KASB advocacy staff will be tracking in 2022. As I mentioned at the top of this video, check this link for more in-depth analysis of the upcoming session. Be sure to also keep a lookout for our daily Facebook Live updates on the KASB Facebook page throughout the session. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you at the State House.